All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the two most popular clip-in style pedals. We have the Delta system and the SPD system. What are the differences and uh, how do they work? Well, let's jump into it. We're gonna start off with this uh, Delta style. This is a three bolt style and this is a road shoe. Notice how smooth on the bottom. These are meant to just get on the bike and ride. They're not really meant for walking around at all. And if you do try to walk around, you'll see it's kind of like walking in ski boots um, if you're on slick floors it can be treacherous so be careful so these are meant for getting right on the bike and riding this style of road shoe does have uh, this is the Tommaso elite uh, strata elite this has the two bolt and three bolt some of the road shoes just have three bolt and that means that this three bolt system can bolt right on then uh, then with the cleat uh, these bolts can adjust side to side up and down so you can get the perfect position so that's the shoe that's what you're going to want to look for a three bolt for the uh, delta style uh, that's going to be really popular with peloton uh, exercise bikes like this pedal here but uh, it's also look is the popular brand that uh, created this style of pedal so this is the Delta style pedal. Um, one thing is that it has a tension adjustment. So you can control how difficult it is to get in and out of the pedal. If you step on this, and let me grab this here. This is how it goes in. It clips in here and you push down. If you step on this and your cleat doesn't want to go in, you can loosen this. There's a little minus. Um, section right here so you can go counterclockwise and uh, loosen it up so it's easier to get in and out if you're pushing on this and you can't get in loosen the tension up um, and there's actually a little tension meter so this has already been loosened up all the way uh, or you can make it tighter sometimes you you get on the bike and your foot can just pull completely out so that's the Delta style system, super popular. That's a Peloton pedal right there. Also popular in just road cycling in general. Um, <coughs> the pros of this system is it's really, really good at uh, power transfer. You have a much bigger cleat uh, with a much bigger interface here. So a lot less flex, a lot more power goes into your crank. So this is definitely uh, more on the performance side of things. Now this is the mountain style this is SPD also really popular with indoor cycling but uh, originally made for mountain biking and you can see the cleat sits into this recessed area so it tucks right away you're gonna have to you know mountain biking you're gonna have to get off the bike and hike some trail from time to time and that's what this is uh, created for there's four bolts but that's just giving you two positioning options you can pick one and uh, one thing lining up either of these, the center of your cleat, that's like right here on this guy or right at the center of these bolts, that should line up with the ball of your foot right in here. Um, you can line it up, you can kind of twist it, push it side to side uh, and find that right position. I recommend before you fully put these on and tighten them, find out what your position is, especially if you're going out to ride on a normal bike not an indoor stationary bike figure out your positioning take you know 20 to 30 minutes figure out where that positioning is because you're going to go out and it's going to feel like it's wanting to twist your foot in one way or another um, that's one thing with either of these systems position uh, the cleat get it snug position the cleat and then tighten it down fully um, but i have other videos for installation of the cleats you can check those out uh, getting back to this this uses this small steel cleat so it's very durable um, compared to this plastic cleat if you're walking on this you'll wear through these super fast these steel cleats they last a really long time um, and that's what they're made for they're meant for hiking mountain bike trails so when you can't get up a obstacle on the trail um, you can hike up you have some grip on these you can put actual cleats uh, spikes into the shoe right there and so you can climb the trail 
The nice thing about these for indoor cycling is that it creates a shoe that you can walk around a lot easier. Um, kind of the downside is that is that when you are riding, there's a little bit more flex this way. So that's really, it's actually a good thing for mountain biking because you're a lot more dynamic on the bike. You're moving around. You want to have that cleat to be able to have a little bit more uh, room in there and not be so locked into one position. So that's the positive. You can also adjust tension, just like I mentioned on this, on the SPD system, you have a plus and minus sign here. So if you want, uh, if you tighten it up, go towards the minus, you loosen it, or no, plus. That's more tension, that's less tension. I got that right there. Um, and you're gonna wanna play around. With SPDs, my preferred tension is gonna be, I turn it all the way out and there's a stop, the bolt won't turn anymore. I turn it all the way out and there's little clicks in there as you turn it, loosen it all the way up and then go in three clicks. You'll feel this bolt have these kind of notches in it. Uh, that's where I like to start folks when they're first getting started all the way out and then three clicks in. If you do the tension all the way loose, a lot of times you can just pull right out and that's too much. Um, so really the, the, the big difference between the two systems is more performance, less walking, um, performance, but a lot better uh, usability with being able to walk to the bike. Um, I have this other pair of shoes right here. This is a great set of shoes. This has the cleat on it. This is SPD style. And this, you can see that cleats recess. So you can actually step off the bike, do some other exercises. And uh, uh, this is, a lot easier to walk in. So this is more of a fitness shoe uh, with a cycling cleat. So those are the differences between the Delta system and the SPD system. Um, they're both great systems. I think if you're gonna be walking more, SPD works great. If you're walking less, looking for better performance, I'd go with the Delta. Thanks for joining. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.